Hey guys, welcome. Flu. And his brother. Ah! Okay. Uh, rewind that. Hey guys, welcome. Flu here. And his brother. And today we're going to be reading Angry Birds: Big Trouble on Bird Island. And the Angry Birds movie. I was just wondering, is this two or one? It'll be the first one because uh, it's more common. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yes. Let's open this up. Open. Yes. Let's read this book. Big trouble. There are some a red and some stupid. Bird. I don't know what the name is. That. Or maybe the bird goes in the first one said, "Get out of here." Maybe yeah. Big trouble on Bird Island. Matilda. Big yeah. trouble on Bird Island. The Angry Birds movie, Big Trouble on Bird Island. Illustrations by, by Turgle Case. I don't know what the heck that name is. Based on a story written by Sarah Steffens. Story. Okay, flip the page. Hey, no, what you doing with the baby? Well, you're a stupid okay. baby. You're stupid. It was a dark day on the usual cheerful bird island. Finch, a reporter at Daily Peep, had the scoop on something bad that happened downtown. If she wanted to make headlines, she needs to get moving. There's the picture. Next page. Finch pushed her way through the crowd gathered in town square. She was shocked. Somebody had pummeled the statue of Mighty Eagle, Bird Island's beloved hero, with rocks. Finch listened to the birds chatter. One name seemed to be on the tip of every beak. Red, she wrote in her report notebook. I see what's over there. Yeah. Oh, the picture. Yep, the picture. Oh, shoot, I forgot the picture. Okay. Okay, okay. Foo. Three. You're stupid. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh. Okay. Next, Finch looked for clues. She saw a calm white bird with pink feathers step in front of the upset flock. It was Matilda, who ran Infinity Eccentric Center. Everybody, take a deep breath, Matilda said. The birds breathed in. Now let, let it go, she continued. The birds breathed out. Finch followed along. She relaxed. It, it, it helped her focus on the case. Just shut up and go. Okay. The next morning, Finch found out that the, the statue had been attacked again. Someone had splattered it with red paint. Once more, Finch wrote in her red, wrote red in her notebook. Matilda was back to calm the birds. We'll start with some deep breaths and then do yoga, she said. Finch wasn't at yoga, but she felt calm, cool, and ready to search for an angry red bird. I can't believe Red's not in the story. Yeah. Finch found oh, one so at the beach. He was big, he was red, and he had a big frown because a little purple bird had kicked his sand sculpture. It was an accident, the purple bird explained. I tripped and fell into the sculpture of Mighty Eagle. Finch took a closer look. You were making a sculpture of Mighty Eagle, she said. I mean, she asked. Terrence nodded sadly. The bird was not in the pit, I think. Yeah, you would have at this. Finch returned to the, the sense of crime. She started, stared at the statue. What clue was she missing? Finch noticed Matilda still helping the crowd. She was teaching them to paint. Painting relieves stress, she says. The small plotch of red paint on Matilda's feathers reminded Finch that she still had one and only suspect, Red. Oh, Just then, Finch spotted a bigger red splotch in the distance. 
it was, it turned out to be Angry Redbird, and he was headed her way. Is your name Red? She asked. Yes. Red spluttered. Oops. Finch asked him where he had been the past two nights. I was home sleeping. If you do not get enough sleep, I'll lose my temper. You would not want to see that. Finch let Red go. She definitely did not want to see that. Rex, Red's ability was pretty flimsy. He lived alone. No one can back up his story. So Finch kept on her list. She needed to catch him red-handed. When the sun set, Finch sucked down to the statue. She found a perfect spot. She could see everything, but no one can see her. Oh yeah, and I just want to ask you something, guys. The sky grew dark, the moon rose, and Finch yawned. She was about to give up hope as she heard a strange noise. Finch saw a spooky shape headed straight for the statue. She held up her camera and began snap, snapping shots as the figure began throwing toilet paper over Mighty Eagle's statue! Finch uncovered the Vandel, but it wasn't red. It was Matilda, and she was sleepwalking. Wake up, Finch yelled. Matilda blinked and looked around. She spotted the statue covered in toilet paper and dropped a roll she was holding. Oh no, said Matilda. Oh yes, Finch said, nodding. Next day, Matilda appeared in the court. I used to be a very angry bird, she said. I controlled my anger with meditation and yoga. I was cursed, but I guess there's a little bit of anger nesting inside me. And it wakes... It wakes up when I'm asleep. The judge sented her to 100 hours of com committee service cleaning up Bird Village, starting with the statue of Mighty Eagle. Finally, Finch cracked the case and broke her, her first big story. Okay, don't miss these other Angry Bird books. Oh yeah, and I, th this is a comic book from the library, same as this one. Yep. And I read this whole thing, look how long it is. I read it from 20 minutes to, uh, yeah, to dinner. Okay. Oh. Let's see if we have the other books. Okay. I don't think we do. Let's just read them. Seeing Red. Angry Birds, a junior novel. Angry Birds, Meet the Angry Birds. Angry Birds, Too Much Piggies. Um, Angry Birds, Official Guidebook. Angry Birds. I got so much uh, there. Laptastic Joke Book. Okay, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and put in the comments below what else you want me to read. Subscribe to Ravel Kung Fu. Bye. Bye.